Welcome to day 28 of the secret to weight loss for life. Today is the last day. So uh, for me, because my goal was to get down to 215, which hopefully I get down to today. I don't, don't know yet. We'll find out in a minute. I was only at yesterday on day 27. I was at 215.4. Uh, and I know I'd, all the things I've been doing are definitely should give me at least a minimum of half a pound weight loss. And I had a good day yesterday. So I should beat it. And um, we'll see by how much. So, and here's the really, really, really important part. Okay. If I hit my goal weight, we need to talk about what do I do going forward so we don't gain it back, which is the most important part of losing weight because anybody can lose weight. You have to lose weight and keep it off. Okay. So, but let's find out what happened first before we even go down that road. Uh, so, let's talk about day 27. <clears throat> I'm pretty confident I'm going to beat my goal because I had a really good day. So, I had my usual breakfast coffee, nuts, fruit. I've nailed that one. That definitely keeps my calories down. That's definitely a weight loss meal for me. It was an easy one for me to do. It may be different for you. Maybe it's easier for you to keep your calories down at night. You need to listen to your own body. Okay. That's the number one piece of advice I will always give you. You need to listen to your own body. So mine likes a light breakfast. So that works. My breakfast was great. I had, uh, uh, fruit and nuts uh, for my second meal, my third meal, which is lunch yesterday, I just did juicing and I didn't have any of the juice. And um, uh, then the juicing, I have the kind of like the natural normal hunger you get when you just juice and you don't actually have any food. I got that, but the hypnosis really helped me just sort of power through it and get through. I did uh, the hypnosis uh, yesterday, I did both the push and pull techniques. Actually, I did the push and pull techniques before every meal because I really wanted to make sure that I, I hit my goal. Uh, I did my fourth meal between lunch and dinner. All I, all I had was I had some nuts again and I had tea, some peppermint tea, which is wonderful because it's got no calories. And then uh, for dinner, we basically had leftovers and here's a picture of it. Unfortunately, I've I ate about a quarter of it before I remembered that uh, I need to take a picture of it. Uh, but I had, it was the leftover chicken that with the salsa. I had it with uh, some rice. It was absolutely delicious. And those vegetables you see there, my wife basically cut up sweet potatoes and celery and things like that. And then just sort of like uh, heated, fried it up for me. Uh, so it wasn't too fattening, didn't use butter, just used a little bit of olive oil. So really good, really good meals yesterday, all low caloric, uh, went really well. Never really hungry this whole, whole 28 days. I've never really been hungry and I, I have had minor kind of cravings, but this is the whole point of the hypnosis is it really helps you not feel like you're on a diet because you're not actually on a diet. You're, you're just eating 80, 20, you're eating in a healthy way that sustains weight loss. And the best part is the weight loss part is the portion control, which is what the hypnosis is designed for to help you with portion control so you don't feel hungry. Because when we feel really hungry and we're craving all kinds of bad foods, it's really hard to lose weight, right? But if you're not really craving bad foods because of the hypnosis and the uh, hypnosis is helping you with your portion control and not feeling hungry, it's way easier to lose weight, okay? So that's what happens. So let, let's do the weigh-in and then see if I hit my goal or... Uh, um, um, and then talk about what next, because this is not the end. This is actually the beginning, the beginning. Okay. So, so let's do the way in. So this is, my, this is the last video, by the way. So if you've been watching them all, this is the last one. I don't know if you remember what this short shirt looked like when I first started the program, but you can see now, I mean, it's just, I mean, you know, it's, you know, not really, not really, I'm going to do my back, sorry. And it's funny, the last like three or four days, I've noticed like the biggest physical change because for a while there, I was, didn't really feel like I was noticing much physical change or it seemed like it was really kind of gradual and kind of slow. But but I noticed that, like I just see less rounding here. Like I don't know if you remember, see if I can push my belly out. It's kind of hard to do that now. But it just seems like, you know, less round. So here we go. It's definitely not the big... It wasn't that big. I mean, kind of exaggerating here, but it's definitely 
definitely flatter for sure. Oh, yeah, I need to stay there just so I can take a screenshot of it. Okay, and then the back. Here we go again this side. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely lost weight for sure. Uh, my clothes are feeling so much better. Uh, 20 days, four weeks. So that's, you know, that's a long time. Well, I started at 228.8. Okay, so let's do the weigh-ins. Stop standing here with my shirt off in front of you. Okay, so yesterday I was 215.4. See if it is going to give me that that error sign that it's been giving me. So I got to get down to 215. Pretty confident. Okay, and it did give me the error sign. <laughs> this scale's driving me insane. Uh here we go. Usually works the second time. Okay, whoop. Kind of tipped on it there. All right. Wow. Holy schmoly. It says 213.2, which seems like there's no way I lost that my weight. So we're just going to do it twice just to make sure. Because that was really weird to me that I would lose that much weight. I mean, it's definitely possible. I didn't eat much yesterday. Let's see. 213.2 I the scale doesn't lie wow that's incredible what a gift on my last day and I'm glad, I'm glad that that never really happened it, it actually I guess it kind of did happen to me a couple times I lost two pounds so um let's talk about this um uh 213.2 um okay so 213.2 means I lost just over two pounds that's my it's my biggest weight loss yet um, and the truth is that can happen. Like if you, we're going to look back at my journey here. So here's, here's the journey all the way to day 28. Okay. There were a couple times here where I lost two pounds or just over two pounds. There's, here's the thing you need to know about that. I want to explain this so you understand that there's no rhyme or reason. Okay. Well, there is, it's because I ate well and I didn't eat many calories yesterday, but there were other days where I did, where I ate pretty much the same amount of calories and I only lost a pound or like a pound and a half. It's just the way our bodies are. They're complex. Some days you get really big weight losses and some days you eat the exact same thing and you get like a small weight loss. You can't let that discourage you. You just have to understand is that the human body is very complex and your body isn't just going to do things exactly in an even line. Your body is going to days where you should have lost weight, lost a lot of weight, only lose a little and, and you'll be other days you'll be surprised where you thought I'm not going to lose that much weight and you lost more than you thought it's just the complexity of the body so here we are at 213.2 uh, whatever is on the screen is going to be 100% accurate because my math ain't that great that means I've lost at 213.2 I've lost basically uh, if I'm doing the math right that would be 15 just over 15 and a half pounds in four weeks. So that's really, really good. That's, that's, you know, I don't know what that is. It's three point something, almost four pounds a week kind of thing. Somebody else, those that are better at math, you do it for me. That's good. That's the kind of weight loss we kind of want to see. It's, it's okay to lose, you know, a quarter of a pound, a half a pound a day, you know, kind of three to four pounds a week. You know, um, one of my, Client said to me, sent me sign saying that a one percent of your body fat a week is good. So at two, say let's I say it was two thirty, so two point three pounds a week. I was probably more than that, but um, yeah. So let's just summarize the entire journey. So here's a picture of me at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to edit in a picture of me from this way in. Okay, so you can see the difference. Now let's talk about the key, the secret. The, the, the last 20 days and losing almost 16 pounds is not the secret. Th that's not the secret. The secret is how do you keep it off? And how do I now not get back over 250 now that I'm under 250, now that I've hit my goal weight? How do you keep it off for the rest of your life? That's the secret. So those of you that are doing the program with me, you may not be at your end goal yet so you need to keep on the program and go beyond the 20 days those of you that are at it or maybe you got to it at day 21 because you weren't trying to lose maybe you're trying, trying to lose 10 pounds i don't know you can go into the next section which is which is how to maintain 
your new weight and how to maintain it for the rest of your life. For those of you that are just watching and following my videos, here's what you need to know. The way that the things that we've been doing for the last 20 days and the hypnosis we've been doing were designed for weight loss. Weight maintenance is really about developing good eating habits. And I've developed good eating habits now. Let's talk about them really quickly. And then I'll, I'll let you go. But what are my good eating habits that I've learned about my own body from listening to my own body? One, don't eat big breakfasts. My body doesn't like them. I'm good with a light breakfast. Two, lunches. What does my body like for lunch? It basically likes protein and lettuce. And for dinners, my body likes basically a little bit of carbohydrate with vegetables and meat. That's what I've learned. So as long as I basically control my portions and I just eat like that for me, for my body, for how my body reacts. And I love all of that food. And, I'm, and I could eat a little bit more than I've been eating because I've been eating less to lose weight. Well, I, I'm not trying to lose weight now. So I can increase a little bit. Listen to what I'm saying. A little bit my portion control. So I'm going to stop juicing at lunch for one. I'm going to go back to having vegetables and protein for lunch. And I'm going to just allow a little bit more food, but I'm not going to go hog wild. I'm not going to really change a whole lot other than I'll have the odd day once a week, maybe once every two weeks where I go crazy and I let myself put on the two pounds, but I know I can just go back to eating and my weight will want to stabilize it. 215. So there's a lot more to it than that. So those of you that are doing the program, but I, for those of you that aren't doing the program, I just wanted to kind of give you a sense of what the next stage is. And actually, frankly, the most important stage, which is keeping it off for life. So that's it. That's the secret to weight loss, right? Here it is. Calories consumed versus calories expended, right? You have to expend more calories than you consume to lose weight, period, end of story. Okay. You have to find your own sweet spot and how to do it on your own. Okay. That is why the pro when you do my program, the program is designed more like a buffet. So you can pull from the different parts for what works for you, for your body, for your body type, for what you need, for your eating habits. Okay. So we, we understand how to lose weight. It's easy. Calories consumed versus calories expended. And we just have to pay attention and Control our portions, control the amount we eat because that will get the weight down. So we know that. We know the secret to keeping off for the rest of our life, which is basically learn about our body and what it takes to lose weight. And then we can lay off a little bit of the portion control and do the things that are in the second part of the course. For those of you that are doing the course, there's a whole bunch of tips, tricks, and hacks and additional things that you can do to make sure you keep that weight off. And if you're going to keep going and lose more weight, then don't do that part of the course yet. Just keep doing the, the push and pull techniques. Keep doing the hypnosis and keep going. You can do it. I just showed you that I myself did my own program. And in 28 days, I hit my goal weight and beat it. Right? In 28 days. Okay? And I did it. I did the, the program that I'm, I give to you. I did myself. I don't ever, ever, ever put a program out there that I myself don't do. Haven't done and didn't have success with, or I wouldn't do it. Well, thank you so much for following me the last 28 days. It's been absolutely great for me. And you got to see me at my absolute worst, first thing in the morning, unshaven with my morning horse voice. I was sick at the beginning of the program. I had all sorts of obstacles. I had birthday parties. I had Halloween. And I still managed to get through all of it. Sickness, birthdays, Halloween. And I still managed to hit my goal weight by day 28. Thank you so much for coming with me on the journey. I hope you enjoyed it as much as it was for me. At any time, if you want more information on my weight loss program, or you just want to reach out and find out what weight I am on any particular day and see if I'm still at 215 or less, then please send me a message and ask me how much I weigh. I'm happy to give an update. If you're in the program, make sure you participate in the Facebook group. And as you know, I'm there every Thursday uh, giving uh, advice and making sure that everyone stays on the program and goes forward. Blessings to everyone. Thank you so much for all of your time and attention.